This building that currently houses Muskoka Family Connections will soon be home to a different type of support system for those in need in Muskoka. The District of Muskoka has purchased the property from Family Connections just across the road from the district office on Pine Street in Bracebridge with plans to turn the building into transitional housing for youth at risk of or who are already homeless. Jackie Matice, Director of Programs with the District of Muskoka, says the project has been a few years in the making and is a major necessity for the area. We applied back in 2017 for funding and uh, finally received funding in 2020. So what we're going to see is uh, 12 uh, affordable units with supports for youth. Um, great opportunity to provide an affordable roof over their heads and then also to provide some supports and services with, with the, the new affordable housing. Matthijs says the plan now is to offer 12 units, 10 standard and 2 accessible, but with plans to build more in the future. They'll be small units, but uh, they'll have the ability to have their bed, a uh, little kitchenette, so some space that's their own private space. Then we're also uh, planning some common space in the main area of the building, so there'll be a kitchenette in there, um, so we could do classes, for example, for cooking. And then some office space for staff. We will have some staff on site, and those staff will provide services and supports to the youth in the building. She says the age group eligible for this program will run from ages 18 to 25 in the district will be leaning on local partners to identify youth in need of this type of transitional housing. So we'll be working with those partners who typically work with youth uh, and support them. So we'll be working that way. Obviously the district has many programs that support our local youth as well. So we'll be looking uh, to our staff to identify youth that need those supports and uh, then we'll uh, follow a, a process to actually allocate those units. And, and there's only 12 and we know that they'll probably be filled pretty quickly, but uh, with the help of our agencies, I think we can identify the youth that are in most need and, and offer those units.